Do you know the difference between COVID and the flu? It's a really fair question. Many of my patients are asking me this right now because they're both circulating. And the truth is that even as a physician, it can be tough for me to tell the difference sometimes. So let's talk about some of the symptoms. They have a lot of symptoms in common, including fever, body aches, headaches, chills, just feeling run down, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, congestion, and a sore throat. That can happen with COVID or the flu. Now, there's a unique set of symptoms, loss of taste or loss of smell. Now, not every COVID patient has these symptoms, but if you do, they're really a unique red flag that you might have COVID and you should definitely isolate accordingly. Now, how can you protect yourself against the flu and reduce some of this confusion? Of course, your first line is to get your flu vaccine. And why? Because your flu vaccine cuts your risk of getting flu by 50%, which means you're half as likely to get the flu and then be sitting there wondering, do I have the flu or do I have COVID? Flu vaccine's always your first line of defense against the flu. It protects you, protects your family, protects your community, and also, especially as we go into this winter season, it helps to conserve potentially scarce healthcare resources. So really important. Now, of course, what else, in addition to the flu vaccine, what else can you do to reduce your risk of COVID and the flu this year? Number one, don't forget to wash your hands. Just like mom said, wash your hands with some warm water, with some soap, 20 seconds, sing that happy birthday song. Make sure that you don't take your hands and touch your mouth, touch your nose, touch your eyes, especially if they are not washed and talk to your kids about doing this as well. You wanna make sure that you're still social distancing. Anyone who's not in your immediate family or not in your pod, when you're around them, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that six feet apart and for less than 15 minutes to really minimize your chance of having an accidental exposure. Of course, whenever you're out in public and around anyone who's not in your pod, you wanna be wearing a mask that covers your mouth and your nose. There are some really cute ones out there right now, fitting with the season, matching your outfit. Your mask can be your latest accessory. Of course, don't forget that when you are at work or in any shared services or any of those high contact services, you want to make sure that you're cleaning them with an EPA approved disinfectant very regularly. Lastly, if you have symptoms, this is not the year to tough it out and go into work or go someplace. If you have any of these symptoms that we talked about, stay home, isolate to avoid spreading it to others. For more great information on how to stay safe this COVID and flu and cold season, be sure to check out Clorox.com.